Okay, what is up, guys? Today we are back with another uh, commentary, and I hope you guys are enjoying these commentaries because it's it's a lot of fun. I enjoy making them. So uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's commentary. And today's commentary is drum roll, please. You can literally just see it from the title. Anyway, so we're gonna be talking about that, and this time was absolutely insane, and it's whenever I had surgery and. Yeah, so enjoy today's commentary, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and if you are, then that's an amazing thing, so good, have a good rest of your, whatever you're doing now, so uh, yeah, basically, just enjoy yourself, and sit back, relax, and watch this video, you might need surgery after watching this video, okay, so what's up, Um, so what's going on is, last year, um, early I think May. Uh, you can look at my new video, my my actually Titanfall two video. I uploaded the day after I had surgery, and what happened was my stomach did not feel very good one day at Universal, and so we were just walking around Universal, and I there were like these continuous cramps, right? Like it's usually at Universal, okay? And so what was going on is just I had like these unusual cramps that I you know I never had before before. Be oh my gosh, I just stuttered. Stop. So, the cramps that I've had, like, I've never really had cramps that bad before at Universal. So, I sat down a little bit on our way to things such as Harry Potter World. And, yeah, so my mom wanted to stay through the entire thing to watch this concert. And it was this one dude, and uh, he's a pretty cool guy, honestly. Uh, he sung good, but at the same time, my cramps are so bad that, like, literally, like, I couldn't really enjoy the music there. But, anyway, so... Mm -hmm. uh, it was honestly, like, basically we were, um, like, just stopping a little bit on here and there. So, we were watching a concert or whatever, and I told my mom, hey, mom, I, I want to go. She goes, oh, just stay for, like, another 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool with me. And so, I stayed for another 10 minutes, I think, or 20 minutes. And after that, I was like, all right, I got to go. I got to go home now. Like, oh, my goodness, I keep on stuttering. Ugh, I need to go home now. So... We went going, oh my gosh, are you serious right now? So we started going home, and on the way, my sister's like, oh my gosh, Kyler, this is like a one in a life opportunity. Are you serious? Why would you back out on this? Come on, Kyler. Come on. Why would you do that? Just, you know, basically trash talking me like she always does. Well, usually she does it. Okay. Now, sister, if you're watching this video, I love you. But anyway, point is, um... And I'm not saying that so I don't get absolutely wrecked by the time she's done watching it. Or she's probably not even going to watch it. Just beat me up anyway. All right. So, uh, basically, yeah. And uh, what happened was that, you know. And so, we went home. And uh, the next, I, was, I, I barely went to sleep. Like, I couldn't really go to sleep. So, the next morning, I, I still fought through those. So, the next morning, I woke up and... I was like, hey, mom, could we go to a doctor or something? And so we went to this place called Centricare. I'm only saying the name of this place because they were the people that almost let me die. And this is why. Okay, so basically we went to the place called Centricare. And I absolutely hate the place. Nobody likes it at all. And literally my sister um, had something wrong with her too. But they didn't like it either. So, yeah, basically, Centric, if you're watching this, screw you. Nobody likes you. You guys are garbage. You guys can't literally heal anybody. So there's this stupid doctor that walked in. And it's the one in Florida, too, right next to the um, CVS. It was where my old neighborhood was. So I, I live way too far from it now. But, yeah, basically, um, if, there, if any of them are watching this video, nobody likes you. Screw off. You almost let me die, mates. So, basically, uh. This dude came in, and he checked out, and he literally, okay, this gets a little bit weird. He, like, looks around the entire body, and um, he's like, oh, is everything okay? And then the doctor walked in, and he goes, um, and then basically she, I mean, the doctor, the boy, walked in as a guy, and he was like, hey, what's going on? Like, stuff like that. And so we're like, oh, nothing much, just, uh. You know, I'm not feeling very well. And he goes, okay. And then he he, he collects all the information from us, comes back in, and he says, I, he's going to be perfectly fine, but if you want to do fluids, we can. Uh, but I think that would be overkill. 
And so 30 minutes of fluids later, 1,000 fluids went into me, and I had one IV. So that's number one. That's IV number one. And so basically we were, um, yeah, so we were just doing that. And basically um, after that, I, oh, by the way, I threw up because I never had a needle on me for 30 minutes. So, yeah. Basically, I threw up, and we had to put a little bit more fluids into me, and I absolutely hated my life at that point. But, anyway, so, uh, as we're as we're continuing on, so, yeah, that happened, and so, yeah, so, my, when, she wa- when he walked out, since my mom's a nurse, she was a little bit like, okay, this dude's obviously, there's something wrong, like, there's something wrong with my son, like, I'm not going to let this dude just say that. So that's what happened for that part. And then basically, um, I'm going to be creating two parts of this, by the way, because my editor won't allow me to make way this, this thing real quick. Like it won't let me, he won't let me do things, certain things, but that's not the point. Okay. Let's see if I can end this off really fast. So basically, um, yeah, so I went, we went to this hospital and they said that I needed surgery and then something was wrong with my appendix. And so we go to get surgery and yeah, they said that that was wrong. And, yeah, basically that other doctor almost let me die. But, yeah, we went into the ambulance the first time ever in an ambulance. It was dope. And they asked me if I needed any questions, and I said no. So the next morning I woke up at 11. They went ahead and did the procedure, and basically it. So, uh, yeah.